I know everything, but I really know cars. Between collecting vintage Paul Newman Datsuns, being a two-time Toyota pro and celebrity race champion, or simply being an infuriated Los Angeles native who spent the better part of his life stuck in traffic, I'm uniquely qualified to answer your automotive questions. So, questioners, start your engines. What's the craziest crap that you've seen being hauled in a car or truck going down the highway, or that you hauled in your POS pickup truck back in the day? Mike, 50, Maryland. Well, I've seen some crazy crap being hauled around in my time driving the highways and byways of SoCal. How long before the LGBTQIA plus community decides that byway is problematic, by the way? That crazy crap was not so much building materials or equipment, but what people used to haul in the form of homemade camper shells. I'm talking the kind of DIY in which you could get a DUI. Before Amazon shipped us cheap Chinese plastic and every pot had a lid, people needed to use ingenuity. You'd have a pickup truck and no camper shell existed for your model. Or the ones that did were half the price of what you paid for the pickup truck. That's when guys would get out the plywood, one by six tongue and groove knotty cedar, a sixer of hams and some ingenuity. You don't see that anymore. This is a larger symbolic problem with modern America. Dig. We used to be a gritty country in which people made their own stuff. I grew up in America where we fixed shit and made shit. Stuff was bespoke. Individualism used to be part of our world. My kids see a bunch of silver Priuses going down the street, each one no different than the other. 